The base of a solid is a region in the first quadrant bounded by the x-axis, the y-axis, and the line x plus 2y equals 8. If cross-sections of the solid perpendicular to the x-axis are semicircles, then what is the volume of the solid? Now, our semicircles are going to extend from the line x plus 2y equals 8 down to the x-axis. And we have semicircles extending uh, on top of this region. Now, the area of a semicircle is going to be 1 half pi r squared because the area of a full circle is pi r squared and a semicircle is half of the full circle, so that's the one half in front. But we want our area to be in terms of x, not in terms of r. So let's figure out how we can get r in terms of x. Well, the full diameter here is equal to the distance from the x-axis up to our line. Well, that's just y. So we can turn this equation into a function of y in terms of x. We can do so by subtracting x from both sides and dividing by 2. And so we get y is equal to 4 minus x over 2. That's another way of describing this particular line right here, which means that the diameter of each of our semicircles is equal to 4 minus x over 2, and the radius is half the diameter, which means that the radius is equal to half of this, which will be 2 minus x over 4, because half of 4 is 2, and half of x over 2 is x over 4. Plugging this into r, we now get that the area of each of these cross-sections in terms of x is 1 half pi 2 minus x over 4 squared. And so it's at this point that we can create the integral that represents the volume of this solid. And our integral is along the x-axis from 0 up until 8. And the area of each of these cross-sections is pi over 2 times 2 minus x over 4 squared dx. Now we can perform this integral by first pulling out the pi over 2. So here we have pi over 2 times the integral from 0 to 8 of 2 minus x over 4 squared dx. Here we can use u du. It might actually be an easier way than just multiplying everything out. So here we have u is equal to 2 minus x over 4, which means that du is equal to negative 1 fourth dx. But there is no negative 1 fourth dx, so we can multiply both sides of this equation by negative 4. And we get negative 4 du is equal to dx. If we pull out the negative 4, then we now have negative 4 times pi over 2 is negative 2 pi times the integral of u squared du. And of course, we can also change our limits of integration. If we plug 0 in, we get 2. If we plug 8 in, 2 minus 8 over 4, that's 2 minus 2, that's 0. We can rearrange our limits of integration. So we have 2 pi times the integral from 0 to 2 of u squared du. This is equal to 2 pi. The antiderivative of u squared is 1 third u cubed, and this is from 0 to 2. We can pull out the 1 third, which gives us 2 pi over 3 times 2 cubed is 8 minus 0 cubed is 0. And so the answer here is 16 pi over 3 is our volume. 
Let f and g be the functions given by f equals 1 plus sine of 2x and g equals e to the x over 2. Let r be the shaded region in the first quadrant enclosed by the graphs of f and g. The region r is the base of the solid. For this solid, the cross sections perpendicular to the x-axis are semicircles with diameters extending from y equals f to y equals g. Find the volume of this solid. Let's first construct one of our semicircles. So here's the diameter of the semicircle, and we have a semicircle coming up like this on top. Now the radius of this semicircle is half of the distance from f to g. So we know that the area in terms of x, of course, because these are perpendicular to the x-axis, is going to be equal to pi r squared times one half because we're looking at semicircles that's half a circle so it's half of the area of an actual circle now our r here is half the distance from f to g so that means that a of x is equal to one half pi times one half f of x minus g of x squared. Now f is 1 plus sine of 2x and g is e to the x over 2. So in reality a of x is equal to 1 half pi times f which is 1 plus sine of 2x minus g which is e to the x over 2 all over 2 quantity squared 1 half pi r squared where r is half the distance from g to f which is f minus g over 2 squared okay so we've got the area of each of our cross sections. Now let's talk about where we're going to be integrating from. It looks like there is a point of intersection right here and also one right here. And of course you can use a graphing calculator to find these points of intersection. The first one is at x equals 0 on the y-axis and the second one is at x equals 1.136 and so while setting up our integral here we have the integral from 0 to 1.136 of 1 half pi pi over 2 times our radius which is f minus g over 2 quantity squared dx. We can simplify this for our graphing calculator sake by squaring the 1 half and pulling it out. So here this is equal to the integral from 0 to 1.136 1 half squared is 1 fourth times pi over 2 is pi over 8 times 1 plus sine of 2x minus e to the x over 2 squared dx. And so this is the integral that we are setting up to find the volume of this solid. And of course you got to do this on a graphing calculator because we have irrational uh, limits. And when you do this on a graphing calculator or in Wolfram Alpha you should get 0 0.0 Seven, 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 approximately. And that is the volume of this solid.